Hi there, welcome back to the 7th video Learn Excel with Karpakam. In today's video we are going to see yet another interesting feature of Excel. Let's say normally when you deal with a data set or a data table, after using the data table at some point of time you realize you do not want these columns or you do not want these rows. Today's session is going to completely based on how to hide unused rows and columns at first. We will demonstrate then we will move on to how to unhide unused rows and columns. Okay, let's get started. What exactly I'm going to do is say, let's say starting from J column onwards, I do not want this particular column to appear here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this and press control shift right arrow. It takes me to the end of the end, actually the end of Excel sheet. And what you can do is normally you can go and hit the shortcut for hiding the column. It's control zero. You can see after I, the column is hidden. And even if you click that, no other operation takes place. Similarly, I'm just going to click on row 14 and I'm going to press control shift down arrow. Then you can see it's going to take me to the end of the row. And again, the same shortcut key I'm going to use control nine to hide the rows. You can see the row and the column is completely hidden here. And you cannot do any operation. We have hide unused rows and columns. You can see here, even if I go and click anywhere, you can see no other operation takes place. After some point of time, you have realized that, okay, come on, I need this rows because I want to extend it. Let's say I have taken it from March, but we realize we should have done it from June, September, December. And for March of 2018-19, I want to insert another uh, three more or four more columns. Or if at all my manager wants to look for the date of 2017 this is for 1718 and for the entire 18 also i want to showcase it and till uh, june of 2019 if i want to showcase and i need the column so in this case what you can do is you just go click here and always use the shortcut key what we have uh, done that okay so what i'm going to do alt h o u l i'm going to press it you can see the columns are uh, hidden columns have got unhide Yes, not only that, again, I'm going back to the row and I'm just going to press the same shortcut key, control shift nine, and you can see it has come back and again, I can use the operation. So we have looked into how to unhide columns, unused rows and columns also, and how to un hide unused rows and columns as well. Again, let me demonstrate once again, just go and click on the area where you do not want the columns to appear. and press control shift right arrow it takes you through and press control zero that's the shortcut for hiding the columns again come back to the row where you do not want that to appear press control shift down arrow it takes you to the end and in order to hide the row it's control line it says just hit the net so whenever you look at it you cannot do any operation this part is done now i'm going to unhide unused rows and columns here Again, I'm just going and clicking on it and I'm pressing the shortcut key Alt H O U L. You can see it has come in. I just go and click on here and press Control Shift 9 to unhide it. Yes, that's all for the today's video. I hope all of you would have enjoyed. This is one of the most important area where majority of our, our time goes in. Most of our time goes in. And when you do not want to hide the rows and columns, your worksheet looks so clumsy. And this is one of the best way to hide your rows and columns. See you all in the next video. Stay tuned.